there, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to part two of a series of scenarios sent in by Telvanian Dan. Uh, this is the part two to uh, Battle of the Tyrrhenian Sea, um, which you can find, uh, well, I'll try and remember to post a link to that in the description of the video here. Um, but, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have clicked that yet. <laughs> Getting excited. So, um... After the success of the Italian fleet destroying the British reinforcements coming into the Mediterranean, um, the Vichy French fleet, uh, who are getting a refit, refit complete, um, have been tasked with uh, Melly shush, taking out the uh, remaining uh, British forces in the, I'm assuming, Western Mediterranean. Um, although the doesn't say that. So can I either go for the Super Battleship 2? Uh, well, I can build the battleship or I can go with a battle cruiser, uh, of which I get two. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the French battle cruisers. I hate battle cruisers in general. That is a very slim ship. Interesting. Um, but uh, I'm going to go with the Melly, shush! She's such a pest sometimes. I love it a bit, though. So. Um, I go with a modern battleship two. Hmm. Yeah, it's modern battleship two. I have, in fact, done uh, a design like this. Um. Oh, but that hasn't gone up on YouTube yet. <laughs> Uh, so, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Um, now, it does say that um, I have to limit myself to what would historically have been around. Um, so, I'm actually going to go with the smallest size of this ship. Um... And I'm going to go for the double, quadruple, up front design, because I actually really like it. Um, okay, so you flash green for a second there. Green. Yeah, there we go. Um... So, a bunch of secondaries, definitely. Because um, there are a lot of smaller ships to deal with. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with torpedoes. Um, Alright, so you can only fit two or one. I'll go for two. Uh... Maximum bulkheads, of course. Um, let's go for a diesel oil natural. Uh, how fast can we get you to go? Surprisingly fast. 30 knots. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's get... Yes, okay. So that a fair bit of weight. Uh, not a huge amount. Now, mm, in terms of armament, I'm still a fan of the super heavy tube powder. Uh, hydrophone just to spot incoming torpedoes. Oh, this is surprisingly working out. Okay, uh, go for a 12 inch belt. Yeah, we can. Go all the way up to a 6 inch extended. Oh, we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm, hello. 
That is too much. What about an 18? Yeah, mm, no, 16? 8? 16? Oh, yes. 16 on the tower. Oh, I'm liking this. Uh, just turret top armor then. That needs. Uh, um. Too much. So not quite as much as I would like on the turret tops. But pretty well armoured overall, I think. Um, and yes, I know, I've left the range at medium. Uh, I was told to make a realistic ship, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, the Diderot. Sorry if that's a bad French pronunciation. I'd try my best. Um, yeah, I like this ship. Uh, but then I would, because... <laughs> uh, it's very similar to another ship that I built quite recently for a video. As I said, that video's not gone live yet. If you're wondering why it is that this video is going up earlier, it is because this scenario is set in by someone on my... Patreon, one of my Patreon members, and you get priority over my own videos, over other scenarios that have been sent in. You you get it pretty much as soon as I can. Um, and hence why Millie is barking in the background. Millie, shush! I am trying to record. Okay, let's have a look. Pause quickly and investigate our ships. So we have the uh, Diderot here. Um, we have our two battle cruisers, the <laughs> the Saint Thomas of Aqu Aquinas and the Marguerite de Ponant. Oh, 14 inch guns! Why? At least they've kind of got a cool design. They're pretty similar to the battleship, actually, but with two triples up front and a load of secondaries. They might actually be useful. Many bulkheads, that's a pleasant surprise. Okay, they're basically an upgunned heavy cruiser. Um, and that's how I should use them. We have the destroyers, which aren't too bad at all. Okay. We'll put all the destroyers together. There we go. Uh, okay, I want you on screen for the battleship, and I want you on scout for the battleship. See if that actually works. And we're going to head straight at the enemy, because that's how the ship is designed. Uh, oh, we've got a bead on the enemy. Let's have a quick look at them. Okay, pretty pretty standard type of ship. This will be the battlecruiser. Mm, pretty heavily armed for a battlecruiser. Ugh. What happened to the back? <laughs> and a light cruiser I can't see yet. I don't think. It's the battleship. Oh, that's probably the light. Oh, God. I've gone for light cruisers that are basically destroyers. Great. Okay. We're going to be top dodging. I didn't put any anti-torpedo protection on, did I? I was wondering why I had so much spare displacement. Oh dear. to pretend that you're a battle line formation just go straight out of the enemy. Battle cruisers would be nice if you would screen, but if you can't figure that out, I understand. You can just stay at the back.
I love that animation. Um, how the guns all reload separately. There we go. I think we've locked onto the battleship. Yeah, we have. The main guns, okay. Got a hit. I'll buy a battle cruiser actually. Well done, battle cruiser. Battleship then scores a hit for themselves, but an overpin on the tower. ships killed. Whatever these are, they look very dangerous. Is this a destroyer? Yeah, it is. They look less dangerous, but still worrying. That's what we like to see. Because until we get IDs, we can't tell whether the enemy has in fact fired any torpedoes. Oh, flash fire on the enemy destroyer, the chameleon. Oh, they have fired. What were they firing at? The battleship. Oh, of course they were. I immediately we detect torpedoes coming in from those cruisers, which look irritating. Ah! Okay, there's nothing I can do about stealthy torps like that. <laughs> My guy's a destroyer. That's something. Oh, those are the heavy cruisers. Okay. Still don't like that they're there. Yeah, they've gone for torp heavy builds, which is exactly not what I was hoping for. Yes, I know I'm target switching. I 
Oh no, so look at the enemy battleship, the Eagle, 16 inch guns. Actually, you know what? There's another destroyer. Oh, good hits on the Eagle there. Ricochets. Well, my destroyers are at least uh, mixing things up a bit, causing the enemy to move around and dodge and things. Oh, nice hit. Damage the rudder on the eagle. Blew up the uh, magazine on one of the secondary guns, I think. Just look at that grouping. Hits. More good hits. A lot of ricochets. Still. That's just because of the angle. Destroyer going right in front of the battleship completely messed up the pathfinding. Uh, down she goes anyway. Oh, I've just noticed enemy uh, torpedoes coming in. Another nice set of hits on the eagle there. Still no critical damage though. couple of good pens there. More flooding. Uh, flooding in quite a lot of places now, the Eagle. Um, but she doesn't look like a ship that looks going to flood out particularly quickly. I'm taking some return fire, but not a huge amount. Nice set of hits. Damage the engines. More flooding. Come on. A couple more salvos should uh, finish her off, I think.
Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was big hit. See it? Another nice set of hits. Yeah, she's pretty much toast. If she can't get the flooding on, the flooding might finish her, but the next salvo will break her apart, basically. Come on. There we go. Going on the Caladon now? Yes, good, good, good. Oh, and a flash five to finish the eagle off. <laughs> uh, Caladon goes down. That is very good news. No, no, main guns are targeting the uh, Sutledge. Oh, the Sutledge. Oh, missed. Oh, I think the battle group, one of the battle crews, has finally killed the destroyer. Side on, we like that. And of course we miss. <laughs> no, main guns fire it. Keep firing at the heavy cruiser, don't target switch. You're right in front of you. Thank you. Those could be a problem. Nope, right below that one. Then this way. I don't know if I can avoid those though. No. We're better off turning that way, I think. Oh, it's hard to tell. Uh, indecision. I think those ones have got us. Annoyingly. 
Those stealthy bastard torpedoes from the light cruisers. take one. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, we've got to kill those light cruisers. Those are definitely a threat to us then. I mean, I knew they were, but... One is loaded. Oh, both of them. Okay, one. That's a miss. That's not. Big damage on the fox there. goes the fox. Barossa next, please. Oh, she got torpedoes off before she died. That is extremely not good. And she's just fired a spread. Oh, that's even less not good. Um... Even more not good. Less, more. It's not good. Okay. Missed that one. So we have killed all of the light cruisers, that is good news. Uh, the Zealous, many bulkheads, which is something. Uh, high TNT. Couple of good hits there. <laughs> oh dear, zealous. Not your day, my friend. Not your day at all. <laughs> ah, dearie me. Battle cruisers versus the battleships, it never goes well for the battle cruiser, ever. Right. Destroyers, how are you doing? Not too bad. Battle cruisers are still hanging around in the back, which is fine. Battleships lost a chunk of speed. Oh. The d destroyers wandered into a torpedo. Uh, 
However, I think the heavy cruisers have been firing at the destroyers, which is good. I mean, it's not great, but it benefits me. Because they're not firing at... Yeah, because just gone straight, blundered straight into it. Try and get the battle cruisers engaged. Not like it's the chasseur. more torpedoes left. Starting to run low on main gun ammunition though. Nice, a hit, finally. Switch fire to the Blake. Yep, down she goes. Yeah, there was a time limit on this battle, which I should mention. Uh, it was 90 minutes in game time. So an hour and a half, and I have not used uh, 60 minutes yet, so well under the time. Oh, hit straight, two hits straight away on the lake. She's dead yet. I mean, this might do it. Mm, nope. That wasn't a fatal blow. Next one might be. Oh no, no flooding is pretty bad. And no, down she goes. Well, there we go. Um, I lost my destroyers for the most part. And the battleship took a couple of torpedo hits. Um, no engines or anything damaged, but um, some, some uh, repair work to be done. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope to see you all again very soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.